As shooting deaths hit staggering numbers this year in St. Louis, Cure Violence continues to make progress. The program meant to curb crime is adding two new sites in Dutchtown and Walnut Park. Our Jasmine Payute has the latest. As homicide rates continue to climb, one St. Louis neighborhood is getting hit especially hard. Our ward has been very active in regards to the crime. We have had eight murders in the last month. Pam Boyd is the alderwoman of the 27th Ward. That includes Walnut Park, the area one of the newest locations to house a cure violence site. I think it would be a positive impact is because you're going to have people that actually were part of the problem. That's going to be the negotiators to be on the street to start talking to the people. Urban League will operate the site with James Clark leading the effort. We are going to have an immediate impact. We, we have already begun meeting with, with individuals. Cure Violence works by addressing violence as a public health issue. Organizers say one of its sites in the Wells Goodfellow neighborhood is already making an impact. We cannot fight crime and violence from a distance. And uh, the Cure Violence model says be in the neighborhood, have a sustained presence in the neighborhood, and deliver resources to those that need help the most. Thursday, Governor Mike Parson came to St. Louis to announce his plans to fight crime. We need officers on the streets to fight violent crime. One part of his plan, getting rid of the residency requirements so more officers can join the department. You can't police your way out of crime. And so that's good that he wants to do that, but we have to be re in a reality mode. Reporting in St. Louis, Jasmine Payute. Five on your side. Organizers say the site will be up and running by next Saturday.